Hey guys, what is up? So here's the tutorial. First, we're gonna open up with Premiere Pro and I like to keep things very, very organized. So I have everything in a destination and in a path. So I'm just putting in here file name, Aaron Brockovich, and make sure that you have your settings. Um, I have it on 4K. So the only thing that you need to change when you're doing a vertical video inside the settings is the frame size. Here are the dimensions for IGTV. So the basic video dimensions should be around 1080 by 1350. You're gonna switch the horizontal and the vertical frame size so that it's lengthwise. And now you'll see it's lengthwise and it's not sideways. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import my video um, where I have it stored. I, I like to keep everything organized again, so I'm just gonna paste everything, and then I'm gonna be working on my timeline. So you see that it's lengthwise right now, um, and it has the top bar and the, the low bar. And what I'm gonna do is just crop the beginning of it, of where I want it to start, and then I'm gonna crop the end of where I want it to finish. So I'm gonna cut, which or C on the keyboard, and then delete it. Now I'm gonna scale it to where I want my video to look. So this is it like really big, but it's under the effects controls panel and under video effects, you wanna make sure you have your video highlighted and you can just move um, the position and the scale until it looks something like what you like. Now I want a bar on the top and a bar on the bottom. Next, I'm gonna denoise um, the sound because my sound isn't that great. So I really recommend recording with a, a good sound. So what I do is I go into effects and I search up um, denoise under audio effects and then I just go drag it onto my timeline and now I'm denoising it and you could hear a little bit. So Anyway, I denoise it to where I like it under the effects control panel. And after it's done, I'm going to save it. Make sure you guys save it because it's the worst when Premiere crashes. And then that's the end of it. So now I'm going to look up my logo. And I already created um, uh, art for the top and for the bottom. So you want to make sure you have art for the top and the bottom. And you can create that on um, Photoshop, which I did. And so you can see my little logo, my picture, and my Emmy picture. So I'm just going to drag it to the top. I'm going to make sure the layer is under the video. As you can see, the pink um, thing on my timeline is under my video because you want to make sure it's under it. So, and now I put it, put it on the bottom because that's where I like it. So now I'm going to put on the top what I want to write. So I want to put like actor, cold read, Aaron Brockovich, you know, and then you just adjust the text inside again your effects control panel just make sure you have it highlight the pink uh, text bar on your timeline highlighted and you can adjust um, in the effects control panel the, the width of the letters the size of the letters um, the type of text that you're using everything and I accidentally sp spelled Aaron wrong it's actually E-R-I-N not E R J N. So that is a mess up. So anyway, you're just going to want to make sure it's positioned to where you like it. And you can toggle back between the position um, and the text mouse by either clicking that little on, on the bar down there, clicking that, or you can click V on your keyboard, which will toggle back to the regular, the regular mouse. Now I'm just adjusting the size still, I wanna make sure I like it exactly where it is, and I'm pulling it way back at the beginning. Okay, next thing is color. Under the Lumetri panel on the right, um, I like to give it like a cinematic hue, which is if you go to color wheels, um, you you can do that, pull down the the shadows to the blue, pull up the mid-tones to the um, like yellows, and then it creates a really nice effect, or, you can go into the Lumetri color under creative and get a LUT. So now I'm doing that, just getting a LUT under the creative tab. You click look, browse, and that's what I'm doing right now. Is I'm just browsing for the LUT that I want to use. And LUTs are easy because you can adjust the strength and it just makes it pretty 
um, simple. So this is a basic LUT that I did um, that I was telling you about. A lot of blue in the shadows and um, yellows in the mid-tones. The highlight's not too intense. I'm just going to adjust the intensity. I'm going to sharpen my film a little bit to 29% because the camera doesn't really do great in sharpening. And now what I'm going to do is I don't like how my text goes off in the middle of it. So I'm just going to extend it all the way to the end. Things would be fun. Um, the one on and my not, art on the bottom and my art on the top. I trusted so you. throughout Sorry the entire video. So I'm going to really? let you watch I don't need a, penny. a little bit of it. I need a paycheck. You know what? I've looked. And for, when you're smirking. And I'll do anything. But I'm not leaving here without a job. So to toggle between this screen and the other screen, you just have to hit under the escape bar. There's a little like squiggly line. You just click on that and usually it'll get you there. Now, we're going to put an in point, which is I on your keyboard, and an out point, which is O on your keyboard, to where you want it to start and to where you want it to finish. Now we're going to go file, save, export, control M or command M, depending on if you're Mac. The output name you're going to want to make sure is how you like it. So anyway, I'm gonna go down to encoder settings. I want mine to be very high, so I'm gonna say high performance profile. I'm gonna put 5.2. Um, I'm gonna make sure it's the matching. I'm gonna put CBR, which is a constant bit rate setting. I'm putting it at 100. And I am going to make sure that it's use maximum maximum render quality on the bottom. Actually, I'm putting it down to 36 CBR. I guess I don't want it that high. Audio. So these are my audio settings. I mean, everything's up to preference. I really am not that much really aware of audio. More just so like video. So any, anyway, under video, you're going to go all the way up make sure it matches your source because you want it to be a vertical video and make sure you render it at maximum depth so that way it has the maximum rendering quality now you're going to say Q or you can put it in export whatever you really want but I like to do it in Q because when it's in Q I can be working on other things so I'm just saving the project and most of the time it will automatically save when the media encoder comes up now the media encoder is up. You're, all you got to do is, I need to remove that. Click on that. Click play. And that's it. So now it, while it's encoding, I'm just like scrubbing through a spot. I really want it to be my thumbnail. So you're going to click that little um, camera icon on the bottom. Under the, the under the Aaron Brockovich, there's a little camera button. Now I'm going to save it. And I'm going to open up my screenshot. Because right now we're going to create the art for the thumbnail. I'm going to look up an Aaron Brockovich um, Julia Roberts photo that I want to use as part of the thumbnail. This is good, so I'm just going to save it to where I want it, which is perfect. Now we're going to open up Photoshop, and all you got to do is create new, make sure the dimensions match what you want your vertical video to be. So pixels, um, make sure they match 248 by 100 and 1152. So I'm just going to click and drag and import. So all I got to do is click, import, click, import. Now, because that matches. Now I'm going to just take the section that I want, which I want my face as big as Julia Roberts' face. So I'm going to take my section of my face. I'm going to take the selection tool, crop it to where I want. I don't I want it right there. I want it right above my head right like below my chest a little bit I'm gonna control T which is gonna put it or come sorry control J or command J now I'm gonna take the Aaron Brockovich photo and I'm gonna control T and I'm just gonna um, stretch it over the image and just pull it down a little bit there we go and now I have to adjust and you're gonna watch me adjust both of the adjusting my face a little bigger so it matches her but now my face is way too big so I'm just gonna pull that down a little bit and pull her up and now I kind of changed my mind in the middle here and I wanted my face under her face 
So I just switched the layers. I just ended up, you know, control T pulling her up to where my face was and then control T on my layer. Make sure you save it. Control T on my layer and pulling it down. And then just make sure, you know, I'm the I'm under the art. Like I don't want to block my art that says Emmy Pictures Eliana. So I'm going to pull the background. I'm going to unlock it. Pull the background under as it so it's a bottom. Then I'm going to delete because we still have that large image as you can see in layer zero. So now I'm just going to delete all that stuff that's on top. Being very careful not to eat or cut into the ME pictures with my thing. So just better taking the square selection tool and doing it and then just deleting. And now control D to deselect. And that is it. So now all I got to do is export. So we're going to go file, save as. Well, no, I'm still looking at it. But after you have it to where you like it, let's see what I did. File, save as. Um, I'm going to do this PC. Uh, storage programs. Make sure you really put it where it's organized guys I can't tell you how many times that I've done things that were not organized and it's been really annoying and very frustrating at the end because there's a lot of layers and a lot going on so just make sure everything is really really nicely organized like as you can see I have April May 2000 and IGTV thumbnail so I'm gonna say save it there okay it's now my um, now I'm gonna say export and export as and this is the seat, the settings I like. I like to do it times three, which is max JPEG. And they leave the settings the same. And I'm going to export it. And I just name it, you know, thumbnail for IGTV, vertical video, and save. So now I just wait till it's saved. And that is it. That's how you do it. So when you export, you just got to export the, the image. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was of value to you. If you have any questions or you want to see any kind of stuff in the future, please like and subscribe. I'm always posting creative content as well as tutorials on how I create my content. All right. Thanks you guys so much and have a great week.